Hello, Alex here. So, the purpose of this video is to show you guys how to solder. Um, so I just have a random assortment of stuff here. So, when you go to Radio Shack, grab yourself some sort of chip. Make sure it's a uh, dual inline package DIP. Grab yourself some transistors. These are 2N3904s. Grab some resistors. These are just plain 1K resistors. Grab some LEDs. These are 5mm and I, I don't know, I have a specialty LED just because. Grab yourself some capacitors. These are electrolytic and grab some ceramic ones just for the sake of variety. And then see if you could find some uh, right angle headers. And you will also need some proto board straight from the source. In addition, some very handy stuff is soldering braid. You also need some clippers. You need some solder. This is one millimeter. Yeah. And you'll need a soldering iron, a damp sponge, and some eye protection. So, we'll start with the chip. So, as you can see, this is the this is the side you solder to. This is the side you place components on. You can tell because of these little copper rings all over the place. So let's start with soldering the chip. So let's see if I could let's find a nice spot for it right here. So the thing with soldering chips is sometimes you have to bend the pins a little. So just bend all the LEDs or sorry, all the leads in towards the chip. So bend them this way. So you could fit it you could put it on the board. So there place the chip. See the pins are all up. Now take your solder, your damp sponge, your soldering iron. Wipe the soldering iron. It's hard, it's probably hard to see for you guys, but here is the chip. So take your solder, take your soldering iron, touch the solder to where you want to solder, when you, where you want to form the joint, and then touch that same spot with the soldering iron. So just keep soldering this whole chip. So th since this stuff is protoboard, all the stuff uh, is sort of solder sticks to all of this stuff. So this is not what you want. So you take your desoldering braid here. And roll strip, be careful, this stuff gets pretty hot pretty fast. So have like an inch and a half of clearance. So touch it to the spot where you want to remove the solder and touch touch it over the top of the soldering iron. And there that's mostly desoldered. Let's continue soldering the rest of this chip. That's about it, really, but it takes some practice. Also, um, you gotta make sure your soldering iron is hot enough to do this. If you buy a cheap iron, um, it may not be hot enough to do all this work, and you'll be, f be left with bad joints. So, a quick way to tell is just to take your solder, take your soldering iron, just touch it you cut right through it. If it took some time to cut it, your soldering iron isn't hot enough, you should probably grab a higher watered soldering iron. This right here is a 40 watt. I try to stick with that. There we have it. There's the soldered chip. Alright, let's solder a capacitor. So let's place it here. And the leads, so they're out of the way. They're holding the capacitor in place so it doesn't fall out when you flip it over. So, um, now that this is soldered, you want to trim the leads. So bend them up, take your clippers, and trim the leads off. So you're left with something like this. 
All right, let's solder some headers. So headers, you, they don't they don't stick in like the chip, and you can't bend the pins in like the capacitors. So you're gonna have to hold it in slightly when you're soldering, or prop it up on something. So again, take your solder, soldering iron, and go to town. There's that soldered. You might not be able to do this on the first try, but the important thing is just to keep trying until you're able to do it. So why don't we solder the button? And there's the button soldered. All right, let's solder an LED. Um, so the thing about LEDs is that they are polarized. This is just some a heads up. The shorter pin is the negative, the longer pin is the positive. Also, there's a flat side on the shorter leg. And also, if you look really closely at the LED, I don't know if I can focus, the shorter leg has a bigger piece of metal inside the LED. There's an LED solder. Let's solder a uh, ceramic capacitor. All right, last but not least, let's go solder a transistor. So right now, as you can see, the pins are all in line. Sometimes you may need to uh, have them have the pins out of line. So I'll show you what that means in a second. So let's just pop the transistor into place. And then solder it in. Oh, be careful when soldering transistors as they are sort of sensitive to heat. So you want to solder them as quickly as possible. There you go. Alright, so... Sometimes the transistors look need to be soldered a little differently. So as you saw, the pins were all in a straight line. Sometimes you may need to solder them like this. Where they're not in a straight line, they form a little triangle. So just take your transistor, flat sides here at the top. Take the middle pin and bend it back very slightly. And press the outer pins in a little bit. If you form a triangle. And just pop that on your portal board. Let's solder this yellow uh, rectangular LED. Again, remember the shorter side is negative, the longer side is positive. Uh, just put it here. Let's move on to the resistors. So, there are two ways to solder resistors. Um, it all depends on how your board is laid out, whatever, how much space you need. Usually there's this way of soldering it, the flat way. It's also the standing way, so what you need to do is bend it into a U-shape, like so, and place that on the board. Alright, well, that's about it. So, if you can't really solder like this, uh, I wouldn't advise you buy my uh, DIY kits, because they're... They're, uh, you need to solder pretty well in order to get these working. So yeah, just buy a board and then populate the whole thing. Practice makes perfect.